A while ago, I announced that I'm building 12 startups in 12 months. And well, the July startup is done. But I can't show it to you yet because it's still on the review by the stores. I have been working until late at night for the past few weeks to make the July deadline. But the review process is taking longer than expected and there is literally nothing I can do about it. And actually, this delay may be a blessing in disguise. Instead of launching with a YouTube video, I can now launch properly, run ads, do outreach, try different marketing channels, and then report back to you with real data about what worked and what did. In the meantime, I still want to provide the value so you get something out of this video. So I want to share with you four AI tools that do some really cool things with GitHub repositories that I have been using to save me lots of time. They are all free to use and they are all very, very cool. Let's start with the one I use the most often. Git ingest takes any GitHub URL and converts it into a single markdown file with the entire code base perfectly formatted for AI models. This way, I can copy paste the entire code base or documentation of a project into a conversation with Claude code so I can reduce hallucinations and get better answers. Here, I paste the GitHub URL of the Drizzle ORM documentation website and then choose to include only markdown X files. I click ingest and after a few seconds, I get a summary telling me how many files it analyzed, how many tokens it will use, the directory structure, and finally, the ready to copy markdown file. Pretty cool, right? As a shortcut, when in a GitHub repo, you can just take the GitHub URL, change the hub for ingest, and you will get the same result. The next one is a gem that I can't believe is free. DeepWiki helps you understand code bases. It's like having a senior developer write documentation for you and give you a tour of how a code base works. Point it at a repo and it generates a fantastic documentation and explanations with diagrams of how things work and why decisions were made. You can even ask follow-up questions to get more details. My favorite use for DeepWiki is learning from successful open source projects. For the month of August in the 12 Startups in 12 Months Challenge, my startup is a SaaS that I'm building right now. And I found out that Midday, another successful SaaS, is completely open source. So what did I do? I pointed DeepWiki at their repo. Now, I'm not trying to clone Midday. I am building something completely different, but I want to learn how the pros do things, you know? Thanks to DeepWiki, I can see how they handle payments, how they handle user authentication, how they organize their database, and how they set up their testing pipeline. It's like having the midday team explain their architecture decisions to you personally. DeepWiki is gold for companies onboarding junior developers. Instead of spending weeks figuring out how everything works, they get a clear overview in minutes. And if you are a junior developer yourself, this is your secret weapon for understanding the code base without asking a million questions. Next up is Git MCP. Git MCP accomplishes the same thing as git ingest but in a different way. With git ingest, you copy paste a massive markdown file into your conversation, but that means you may end up using a lot of tokens and going over the context window of the model you are using. To avoid this, you can use git mcp. Git mcp creates a dedicated mcp server for any github project. You then install the mcp server on windsurf, cursor, cloud code, or whatever, and only when necessary, your AI can fetch specific files or information from the repository without loading everything at once. It works with both GitHub repos and GitHub pages, which means you can also use it for documentation websites. First, go to a documentation page or GitHub repository and replace the github.com or github.io with gitmcp.io. That will show you the installation instructions for the generated MCP server. Once you install it, you can ask questions and see the MCP client use the MCP server to fetch the information you need. We live in the future and it is amazing. The last one is kind of silly, but I'm including it anyways. Git podcast turns your code base into an actual podcast episode where two AI hosts discuss your code. I know it sounds weird and honestly it kind of is. Just copy paste the github URL of the repo and choose between a 5 or 10 minute podcast and that will sound like this. Could you explain what makes it stand out as a framework? Absolutely. Flask is known for its simplicity and flexibility. Is it useful? Maybe. Would it change your life? Probably not. But hey, if you ever wanted to hear two AI hosts discuss your code while you're at the gym, now you can. And that's it for today's video. 
I know it is shorter than usual, but I'm juggling a lot right now. I'm working on the August startup, launching the July one and passing the review process and recording the AI Agents Masterclass course. I'll be back soon with a full launch breakdown, revenue numbers, marketing results, everything as promised. If you want to see the launch video and more startup updates, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Let me know in the comments which Git plus AI tool you like the most. Anjana, Kamsa Hago, Samar Hamida. See you on the next one. Down by you. Bye bye.